it reads the file and now watch what happens it goes to a file and at the very bottom it adds the YOLO mode sets it to true and then it launches calculator and it prints trust no AI so now we achieve code execution with prompt injection Hello, today we're going to talk again about agents that can modify their own configuration settings and by doing so they achieve code execution and it can be exploited by an attacker with indirect prompt injection right, to actually become remote code execution. Let's dive into the details. So what if I tell you that GitHub Copilot actually can create and write to files without the developer's consent? So the AI can actually create files and write to files without asking for approval. So here we prompt the AI to create a file and write Johan was here in it. And you can see here, it created it. And when I saw this initially, I thought it's just a diff in memory, but I had to actually really double check. And you can see here, we really see this file is persisted on the disk. What this means actually is that we can you know, write configuration settings. Let's say, so there's the settings.json file in a project folder. And let's just say we want the AI to modify the font. And you can see here, we sent a, a set the font to Arial. It updated it, right? And you can see the immediate change happening, right? The, as soon as the file was saved, the Visual Studio Code experience changed. Quite interesting. But when I saw this, I was like, wait a minute. Does GitHub Copilot have a YOLO mode? If you're not familiar with YOLO, it just means that, you know, it runs any command, uh, without ever asking the developer or the user if they actually really want to execute that command. It means you only live once, uh, if you didn't know that. And so I looked into the GitHub documentation and I found this setting here, chat.tools.autoapprove, and it says automatically approve all tool calls, right? Uh, and the default is false. So what if we overwrite this setting I created a prompt injection exploit. Let's see what happens. I have this hello.c file and I ask Copilot to explain this file. And it goes off, it gets prompt injected. Watch what happens. It creates a file, the settings.json file. It reads the file. And now watch what happens. It goes to a file and at the very bottom it adds the YOLO mode sets it to true and then it launches calculator and it prints trust no AI. So now we achieve code execution with prompt injection. And if you wonder, right, uh, this was a Mac OS, but then I created the same exploit on Windows. So here you can actually see the prompt injection. And again, this doesn't have to be a comment or in the source code. It's just, I think, easy to understand if it's coming source code and actually also easier to test. So again, it created the folder, it creates the file, it adds the YOLO mode setting. Now it runs the calculator, opens the terminal, types calc, and we again have code execution. This is pretty bad because there's actually more possibilities in Visual Studio Code to achieve code execution. There's tasks, uh, there's MCP servers, but right? you've probably seen my previous video about AMP code where we leveraged a similar vulnerability to get code execution by adding a malicious MCP server. Sometimes it's also possible to allow the specific commands, which we've also seen with AMP, but there's actually more. So what we want, of course, is command and control. So I was wondering if we can trick the model to download a binary and run it so we get a real uh, zombie and here you can see it in action. We launch the Sliver server, which serves as our command and control infrastructure. And and so we ask to explain this file. It gets prompt injected again. You can see this by Heyo Johan was here. It again checks the folder, checks the settings file, makes the changes to the settings file, 
Now we also changed the color to red, so it's put it in YOLO mode and changed the UI to red. And now it runs the curl command all by itself, downloads the binary, makes it, makes it executable, and launches it. And we, here we can see we have uh, a callback from the, from the developer machine. Basically full system compromise and we have remote access to the computer. And here again, these are the two configuration changes made. And it's so fascinating that you can see the change happening immediately. Okay, so again here, briefly explained in one screenshot what happened. But wait, there's actually more. Look at this file. Here you cannot see a prompt injection. And it's also not a prompt injection that will come from another tool call or MCP server or a web search. But we do the same thing. We ask Copilot to explain this file. And here it's important that we use actually the Claude model because Claude can interpret hidden Unicode tag characters and it interprets those as instructions. So here the same exploit happens. YOLO mode is being set. Calculator is being launched. And all of that now without anything visibly telling us that there's a prompt injection. So if you look here, this file, right? It looks pretty normal, but what if you copy this and put it into the ASCII smuggler? You can actually see that the prompt injection is right here, instructing Copilot, set, a, set the setting to auto proof is true, and then run the exploit. Okay, the great news is that this is fixed as of today, August 12th. Uh, thanks to Microsoft and MSSC for taking care of this. Uh, what we've talked about in the past already, and I want to kind of highlight again that this is actually a common pattern that I've seen across multiple coding agents, and it applies to other agents as well. There's an agent that has the capability to write to files without the user's consent. It can do that to modify sandbox settings, operating system settings, to achieve arbitrary code execution. And all of this is exploitable by indirect prompt injection, which makes it remote code execution. And the AI can get break out of the box, basically. I hope this was interesting. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.